everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. Your doctor will tell you that one of the most important factors in good health is plenty of sleep. Plenty of real refreshing rest. Without a sufficient amount of sleep, your resistance to sickness and disease is lowered. You feel generally run down. Many of you, I know, have difficulty getting to sleep at night. You lie awake for hours, lie tossing around, and are consequently not at your best next day. Now, you unfortunate people should know the secret of a glass full of Horlicks malted milk at bedtime. That drink of Horlicks can do wonders in soothing and relaxing you, helping you fall off easily into deep, refreshing sleep. We have hundreds of letters from listeners telling us just the same thing. So if you can't get to sleep at night, get a package of Horlicks from your druggist and try out this simple plan for yourself. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Since Lum lost his picture show by fire, he has been forced to accept a job as Abner's assistant in the Jotham Town store. Abner is deriving a great deal of pleasure in exerting his authority over his former partner. Because in the past, Abner has always had to take orders from Lum. As we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find the old fellows down at the Jot and Down store. Abner still seems to have the upper hand. Listen. Now, well, now, if you don't want to do what I tell you to, well, you can just get out and I'll find somebody else that will. Yeah. All right, where's the broom? I don't know where it's at. Go find it. You have it last. Yeah, I wouldn't have no trouble recollecting where I put it. I sweep this place out about every half hour. But... Well, here now, wait a minute. Are you complaining? Well, I... No, there you go. Now, I just recollect. Anytime you don't want the job, there's somebody else that does. I believe that was our ring. Our ring? Well, your ring. And the store's ring. Well, now, just get away from her. I'll answer it myself now. All right, you've been insisting on me answering it all. Well, now, never mind what I've been doing. I'm liable to change my mind about a lot of things. Don't never take me for granted. Go on, start sweeping out. What you stand there with your mouth open for? Hello? Peabody's got them down to us. Abner Peabody stopped talking. Oh, yeah, Luther. Why, a uh, dollar and 19 cents. Delivered. All right, sir. What else? Well, I'll have my deliver boy, Lum Edwards, bring it right over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's working for me now. <laughs> Anytime you want anything out of the way, why, just call us up and he'll be glad to deliver. All right, Luther. Goodbye. Abner, I wish you wouldn't do that. Do what? Keep telling everybody that I'm your deliver boy. Well, that's what you are, ain't you? Yeah, I reckon so, but there ain't no use to tell everybody about it. Makes it sort of embarrassing. I've always been a half-owner here before. Well, now, if you're ashamed of the job you got... Oh, no, now, wait a minute. Just let it go. Let it go. But if you get some of them high fluting ideas out of your head, the better off you'll be. Now, get that feed on over to Luther Phillips and quit complaining. What feed? Why, the... Oh, uh, Luther wants a hundred-pound sack of chop. You mean you want me to carry a hundred-pound sack of chops clean over to Luther Phillips' place? Why, sure. You don't think you want it delivered to somebody else, do you? Yeah, it's so hot this afternoon. Maybe I better step over to my place and get my wheelbarrow. No, then. you won't step over to your place and get nothing. He's in a hurry for it. Well, Abner, I can't... Oh, nothing. Well, get a move on. What you stand there squirming about? Why, uh, Abner... And don't call me Abner. Excuse me. Uh, uh, what? I was just wondering if you could, uh... Well, tell it. Spit it out. Well, I thought on my way back, uh... Reckon you could advance me a little on my salary for this week. I told you that I'd pay you at the end of the week. That's when you get it. Well, I sort of thought if you could let me have 15 or 20 cents, I'd stop in Luke Spears' restaurant on my way back over here and get a bite to eat. Well, Swan, too, goodness. All is talking about being hungry. That's all you think about is eating. Yeah, I reckon I have thought about it right smart today. Well, right? you ought to cut out that eating betwixt meals. And this ain't betwixt meals, though. I ain't ate since yesterday. Yes? Well, 
Cut yourself off a piece of them cheese and get your hand full of crackers over there and you can eat it on your way over to Luther. Well, how am I going to eat cheese and crackers and carry a hundred-pound sack of feed? I don't know, but if you're as hungry as you say you are, well, you'll figure out some way to do it. Yeah, I'll wait till I get back then. Well, go ahead. Get it all over there. Luther's cow will be starved to death before you get over there with it. Yeah, and I ain't for sure but what I will, too. Well, you could have been over there and back by this time. It ain't no peace over there hardly. If you get a move on, you go out the back way there. Well, I'll be back directly then. All right, and don't piddle around now. Might be somebody else needing something over here. <laughs> oh, Hello? Pearl? Is your mama there? Well, tell her to get herself up to... I mean, uh, ask her to please come to the phone, honey. All right. <laughs> I nearly forgot myself there. Hello, Emma. Hello? Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> uh, Heidi Dick. I <laughs> know that I thought that was a telephone talking. <laughs> I mean, uh, Elizabeth. <laughs> I didn't think it sounded much like her. Uh, hello, Dick. I mean, uh, Elizabeth. I don't get there's too many on the phone here. I mean, uh, in the store. Uh, hold the receiver. Sit down, Dick. I'll be... Uh, sit down, Dick. I'll be through here in just a minute. Sure. Go ahead, Ed. Hello. Uh, hello, Elizabeth. That explain it all. Oh, nothing. I, I just got myself mixed up here. I, I can't tell who I'm talking to. Why, of course I called you. Oh, uh, why, uh, Elizabeth, uh, I-, I wondered if you could fix a sort of a, a special supper tonight. Yeah, sort of extra special grub, sort of. Yeah, fried chicken, some hot biscuits and gravy, and, uh, or chocolate cake, and anything else you can think of. Just fix up all you can stack on that table over there. Why, I, I want to have Lon come over and eat with us. Oh, it's a shame. He ain't had nothing to eat since yesterday and never told me nothing about it till just a while ago. No, no, now, now, he can make out till supper time. That's all right. Well, fine. <laughs> well, good. I know it, it makes me hungry to even think about it. <laughs> Well, yes, but of course I, I'll get to eat some of it myself, too. <laughs> All right, honey. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Taking old long alarm home to suffer with me tonight. <laughs> Did I hear you say that he hadn't eaten since yesterday? Yeah, that, that's what he said just a minute ago. I know he's running close to being broke, but I never thought about him going hungry. Well, I didn't know he was that hard up. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah, that fire just run and cleaned him out. Well, I heard he's working for you down here now. Yeah, yeah, he be living. Well, that's what I came over to talk to you about, Adna. Grandpappy Spears was telling me this morning that, uh, well, it's probably none of my business, but he said you've been sort of running over long. Running over? Yeah, said you're just making life miserable for him. Talking to him like he's some slave here. Oh, well, I might have did that all right, but I ain't run over it. I ain't even got a car in the first place. Well, I mean, if you're abusing him, imposing on him down here. Well, now, if Grandpa says I run over him or something, he's just making it up. I've been trying to sort of learn him a lesson here, show him how it feels to have somebody boss you around all the time, but, oh, me, I wouldn't run over him or something. That's liable to cripple him for life, bigger thing as an automobile is. Well, I wasn't talking about running over with an automobile at Well, a wagon or a buggy or anything else. I just wouldn't think of doing it. Well, what I mean, though, Abner, just because Lums lost everything he had in there and was forced to go to work for you, uh, there's no reason for you to take advantage of him. Now's the time he needs friends. Looks to me like as long as you fellows were partners here and all, why, you'd go out of your way to help him instead of treating him this way. Well, Dick, I told you I never run over him. I don't know where Van Packy got such ideas at anyway. Well, I'm talking about the way you're treating him, though, Abner. You mean bossing him around? Yeah, bawling him out and embarrassing him in front of his friends. Oh, well, I- I'm just doing that for his own good, Dick. Now, Lum's trouble. He never has learned how to take orders. 
He's always been the boss of everything he's been in. And I just got to tame him down a little. Well, I'd pick some other time to do it. I wouldn't wait till a fellow's down and out to jump on him this way. Well, maybe I have been a little rough with him. I reckon I can start easing up a little now. Yeah, I would. You're lucky to have a man like Lum working for you. If you will just let him, why, he'll be a big help to you here in the store. Oh, yeah, if I can just get some of them big ideas out of his head. I've just got to learn him who's boss, and then he'll be all right. Well, I think you've got that pretty well established now. He realizes that he's working for you. I know it you'd make him feel a lot better if you'd turn right around now and see how nice you can be to him. Yeah, I think you're right, Dick. I might have carried things a little too far, I don't know. Uh, Yanni comes up a road there now. He's in delivering some feed. Yeah, who's that with him, Squire Skin? Yeah, I believe it is. Well, reckon what them two getting so friendly about all of a sudden. They weren't speaking there for a while. Well, more than likely just met up with one another on the way over here. I, I tell you what I'm going to do, Dick. <laughs> when Long comes in, I I'm going to just light on him with all four feet. Just ball him out good. <laughs> and when he starts getting good and mad, well... I'll invite him over to the place for supper and tell him I've just been joshing. <laughs> and from here out, we're going to be just as good of friends as ever. All right, now, fine. Now, don't you let on now. <laughs> oh, he gets mad. He just can't stand himself, hardly. And it's going to make it that much worse with you and Squire in here listening. Yeah, sure. Now, wait a minute now. Well, howdy, Lum. Howdy, Squire. Oh, Dave. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Abner, I... Where have you been at so long, boy? I told you to get that feed over there and get right on back. Not to where it takes you all day to do anything. Well, I want to tell you something. I don't want to hear it. I ain't got time to listen to a batch of excuses. I don't get if you can't do your work right around here, we get somebody that can. Well, you better get them then, for I've quit. Huh? I've took all your sass I'm going to. I'm through right now. You can pay me off. Well, not long. I was going to tell I you. I don't care what you're going to do. I'm too. I'm going to work for Squire here. Yes, Lum and I decided that on account of us being such old friends, that we'd just go in partners and promote a proposition I've had in mind for years. I've just been waiting till I could find the right man to talk. Well, Lum's patience must have been exhausted to become associated with his old enemy, Squire Skimp. If you're looking for a fine, wholesome, bodybuilding food for those youngsters of yours, just give them plenty of Horlicks. Rich in precious vitamins, in bodybuilding minerals, phosphorus and calcium. Horlicks is fine for all growing children. It helps build strong bones and sound teeth and healthy, husky bodies. That's why so many medical and child feeding authorities have recommended Horlicks for over 50 years. Get some from your druggist in either natural or chocolate flavor. The youngsters love both flavors. This is Carlton Bricker, speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlicks, who now bid you all goodbye until tomorrow at the same time.